Welcome friends, it's your guy NWB and you're watching Toronto Talk Sports and More, also available on your favorite podcasting platform. Today, I'm joined as always by Justin Williams. How's it going guys? Also joining us is a player who grew up in Toronto and came to the TSC Academy and is now applying his trade in Germany at FC Cologne. Please welcome Gabriel Boache. How are you doing? I'm good and you? Not too bad, not too bad. You've been, you've been keeping yourself um, well in these times? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, training and running, running a lot. Very good. Very good. Um, I've got to ask. The, the German season was on hold initially, and then it came back. How happy were you that it came back uh, and that you were able to complete the season in a way? Yeah, I was uh, excited. Um, and on the other hand, not so excited because we have to do a lot of running and uh, fitness. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's positive. That's good. Now to be a negative Nancy on you, but uh, talk us through your experiences when you first heard that essentially everything was going belly up and, and you weren't going to play football for a little bit. Uh, well, basically what happened was I was, in, uh, I was warming up for training one day and then they're just like, yeah, we have a meeting in five minutes. Come down to the the Halle. It's like the gym. Mm-hmm. And so they basically said, yeah, we're not going to train. We're not going to play. You're not allowed to come to the facility. Um, the pandemic has gotten worse. And yeah, go home until further notice. And we'll give you a running plan and just get prepared. So I was basically like, wow. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't believe it was a shock. You know, I didn't think it would get that bad that quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a shock. But I mean, you know, at least we're all we're all okay, we're all healthy. That's that's most important. That's the main thing. And did you stay in Germany the whole time or did you come back to Canada when that announcement was made? Um no, I stayed in Canada the whole time. Uh, sorry, I'm in Canada. <laughs> I, stayed in, <laughs> I stayed in Germany the whole time. Um basically it would have been you know, harder for me to maybe come back into the country if I went to Canada and came back. Mm-hmm. Uh, so safer to stay in Germany. All right. Canada. So how was quarantine life treated you then? Like during the two months, three months, you were kind of locked down. You said you had a running plan, but aside from that, what else did you do? Yeah, I basically had a running plan on my own. And then we had a, like gym sessions online on Zoom. And then oftentimes I just, there's a school here. So I'd usually go there with the ball and kick the ball off the wall. Mm-hmm. And then later on where things started to settle down, I started to go with one of my teammates to the field. He's a goalkeeper. And so I just like, shoot some balls at him or he would do some like passing dribbling stuff um yeah so that's basically what i was doing and then watching a lot of netflix series of <laughs> course <laughs> what was your netflix series of choice um i started rick and morty actually ah. oh my god fun fact i actually know one of the writers on the show he just quit recently yeah yeah, yeah. jeff loveness him and i are friends are you gonna be taking a spot justin yes 100 <laughs> percent. looking forward to that <laughs> now gabe are you on your own in Germany, or do you have a, a support network around you, some family or some friends? Uh, yeah, my, my mom's sister, so my aunt, and my cousins live in Essen. It's about 45 minutes away from me. So sometimes I go see them, and uh, they come here. Um, meals on wheels. <laughs> on the point of meals, did, have you had jollof rice while you've been over there? Did, 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 oh, you, yeah. Does your yeah. aunt hook you up with that? Yeah. All the time. All, all types of food. Uh, whenever I go there, she has the food ready for me to take home. If she comes here, she has the food ready to put in the fridge and eat the next day. Like, yeah. You can't um, beat it. You can't beat it. Now, you got to help me out here because I, I know this. The Ga- your heritage is from Ghana. So the Ghanaian jollof rice is different to the Nigerian version, which a lot of people know about. Can you explain to our audience why the Ghanaian jollof is the better jollof? I can't, it's hard to explain exactly why, but just as a Ghanaian, I know it's better. And from the taste, it just it just tastes right. <laughs> and Nigerian jollof just tastes wrong <laughs> in every way. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the texture, the, the spices, I mean, the way it's made, there's just more love in it. Yeah, I, I understand that. I totally understand. And um, that was a Ghanaian jersey for those of you who missed it. Uh, I have Ghanaian heritage myself. I'm not that from Ghana, so repping the Black Stars. On the point of repping the Black Stars, you, you've represented Canada at 
multiple levels, but you have Ghanaian parents. So under FIFA rules, you could still play for Ghana. So if the choice comes, are you going to play for Team Canada or are you going to play for the Black Stars in the future? Um, the, the question hasn't come, yet, come up yet. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure I'd have to speak with my family and, and think, think on it. Um, we have to, if the chance comes out, I'd be very, very happy. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll take it, maybe I won't. We'll see. On that point of national teams, also under FIFA rules, if you marry a German girl by association, you're allowed to play for the German team. Really? Wow. Yeah, I was reading that like not too long ago because there's um, a guy who played in Germany. I can't remember his name, but he married an American girl and he plays for the American national team. He has wow. no relation, but it's like except for marriage. Yeah, I, wow. I wish I had the name on me right now. But yeah, so in theory, good sir, you can play for three teams. Yeah. Just, just putting it out there. Good things come in threes. Exactly. Imagine that choice, Canada, Ghana, or Germany. You'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> but on the topic of Germany as well, how is your German? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very good stuff. So, it's very good, but it's good. How do you get in the next one? Good, good. That's good. Nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, Nee, we're like, not including you in this conversation. My Deutsch is not good. It's pretty fine, fine Deutsch. Anyway. Little, very little. <laughs> very little is good. Very little. good. Um, okay, let's, let's wind the clock back a little bit. Tell the audience about how you got into football, got into the game of soccer, as they call it here in Canada. Um, so basically when I was, I'd say, you know, I was always playing from when I was young, like four, three years old. I was always playing by myself or kicking the ball around. Um, and then let's say when I was about five years old, I kept pushing my dad for a few years. Mm. And so I'd always play in school and I'd get better. And then it was when I turned six. Yeah, six years old, my dad um, registered me into a house league. It was with the Oak Ridge's soccer club. And then I was with the green team, I think. And then, you know, it just started from there. I did really well. I think my first game, I scored three or four goals. Oh my God. And then the game, it was like five goals, six goals, four goals. Like, you know, I just kept scoring, scoring, scoring. And then, you know, I had a love for the game. And it, it just went on from there. Just kept you know, getting higher and higher. Yeah. Wow, Jesus. So you're that kid that people were like, I want him on my team. I also do not want to face that kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. You made goalies quit. I need you to understand that. Like, there's some kid right now watching this being like, that could have been me. Mm. But he has quit now. <laughs> Dave, is there someone that you model your style of game on when you play? Wow. Um, I wouldn't say there's a specific player. I like to look at a lot of players with, like, similar attributes in terms of speed, dribbling, and take little, little bits of their game and, and – Combine into mine, so I wouldn't say there's one specific player, but you know I'd say like uh, Inyaki Williams. I'm really interested in right now. Uh, Rodrigo from Valencia, uh, Nicolas Pepe, um, you know, players like that. Yeah. yeah, that's one. I enjoy that Pepe comment. We're Arsenal fans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Which team do you follow? Yeah, Chelsea. Chelsea's my. I knew it. He looked like a Chelsea it's a guy. It's a problem. Oh God. Oh. I don't even. Why we? Well, that's it for today. That's the it for interview. tonight, guys. Um, catch us on YouTube. No, no, no. <laughs> jokes, jokes. <laughs> He's not joking. <laughs> We're contractually <laughs> obligated to do this. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun. All good fun. It is. It is. So you mentioned that you uh, that you support Chelsea. Then are you? Do you have a favorite Bundesliga team aside from the team you currently play for that you support? Uh, Bundesliga, I'd say Bayern Munich. Just they're on it every season. Eight in a row, man. You know, yeah. I, I've never heard of it, never seen it like every season. And they're competitive in champions as well, too, which is nice. Well, they have a bad start to the season, they still end up winning. Like, I don't understand yeah. it. Just, well, Mueller just broke a record for the most assists in the uh, yeah. I think it was uh, the club or Bundesliga franchise. I would have. Yeah. Bundesliga, uh, 20s, so. Murdering and Lewandowski just keeps scoring, so he's you back when like you were a kid, essentially. So he modeled his game after you, actually. You just don't know that yet. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> he's like this Gabe kid, yeah. yeah. 
Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, I've got to ask. Let, let's um, focus on something that's not as positive. What has been your biggest struggle in the game? Um, thanks for that. Uh, show. So recently, I'd say um, dealing with injuries. Um, something I didn't really experience when I was younger. And so I think every player has to sort of get go through that, that, that phase where you have injuries or you, you have downtime so you learn so in the future that you can you know get through it mentally physically um, really focus instead of focus on your body and the things that you need to do um, and then of course like racism in the game which is which is also a big a big part of it getting you know getting through that um, especially being in Germany at times it's it has been tough and I think you know, if you have good people around you and behind you, it can help you um, get through that. So you mentioned the, the racism there real quick. Um, I'm assuming there's Black Lives Matter movement there. I've seen it all across the world. Um, how has that been for you personally, like on the pitch? Um, I don't want any like actual situations or whatever it is, but have you have you guys taken a knee in that response? Have you guys been to like a, like a group march? Have you guys done anything yeah, so, okay. so basically I went to um, a march with one of my teammates. Um, okay. You know, there, was, uh, there was many, 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 many people. I think like, I want to say 10, 15,000 people. And for the fans, you wore protective equipment, right? You were, yeah, yeah, I wore yeah. a mask. My, yeah. well, you were not even allowed around the area without a mask. Oh, so, like, good. Controlling it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that was good. Um, yeah, we did that, you know. And it's, it's, I think as a person, I have to do something. I have to say something. I have to, you know, take a stand and, and to, you know, to use my social media as a, a platform to show these things and things that are going on, mm-hmm. and then go outside and, and protest. It's you know, it means a lot, and it's and I'm doing what I what I can do to make it right. Do. So, oh my God, that's like, oh God. So. Yeah. I, I, go on, go on. Oh, Justin, jump in. Please. Well, I was, I was gonna say because like I've seen in in like Bundesliga and everything that people are taking knees before a game and, and, you know, arms up, whatever it is, don't shoot. Um, is that just as popular for you guys? Is that something you guys did like maybe during practice as well? Have you guys done it like? No, as- no not, not really. No, we didn't do it, really do it during practice, but like, you know, it's something we speak about um, and it's brought up. And I think, you know, it's, it's so positive that it, it the league is doing or leagues around the world are doing something about it because now the players actually see it as, you know, before they didn't really focus on it or recognize it. Right. Um, so like now they sort of understand and they feel for you and they understand you or try to understand you. Mm-hmm. Right. Before it was, there was a bit of ignorance behind it. So I think it's positive that everyone is, is, you know, doing something. Right. It's really important. And we appreciate you sharing from the heart on that. Um, it is, I know in some countries uh, there's more, it's more of an issue and hopefully in time with the current movement around the world, we'll see improvements across globally from country to country. Yeah. Well, on a lighter note, I have a game for you if you want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, this game, it's five questions, and you have to select the most correct answer. All right? I don't know how good you were at multiple choice. So it's five. You seem like a pretty smart kid. I feel like you can do this. Now, before the pandemic, on your current team, who has the most goals? Is it A, not Beck, B, Kalskanner, or C, Lau? Um, not Beck. You are correct. He has seven. Look at you go. Was there like a story behind that? Where you like uh, you pass it to him or something? Or like uh, I, want, I remember there was one game I passed him and he missed, and I was really oh. mad because I wanted I really wanted to assist. Um, yeah, I remember him saying like oh, I'm a defender and I have the most goals. I remember that. I, remember him saying. <laughs> I feel like it's something he would say too. I don't even know him, <laughs> but it just seems like a defender's mentality if they're scoring more. They're like. 
remind you. Anyways. <clears throat> Question number two. When were both uh, FC Clone Clubs founded? Was it A, 1987, B, 1892, or C, 1948? Um, 1948. You are correct. Two for two. Look at you go. Whew. Whew. Sweating a little bit. Just, uh, all right. Question three. <clears throat> In what year did your former club, Energy Cottbus, get promoted? Was it A, 2017, B, 2016, or C, 2015? Gonna be the last promoted. Yep. Pre pandemic. 2017, 2018 season. No, it was 2016, sir. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I played in that game. 2017. It was 2016. 2016, they were promoted. Was I? This is. It's been really? a long year. Yeah, it's been a long year, man. Oh my goodness. It's all good. You're getting, yeah, you're trying to forget now. It's all good. Wow. It's already been four years and one. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> scary, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it has to be 28. I'll tell you why it's 2018. 27, 20, 2018. Uh, 2018, I signed a new contract for FC Cologne, mm. and I have a, I, it's been two years, so 2018, 2019, 2019, and 2020. All right, so I'm gonna step in. I'm gonna be the VAR on this. So Justin, you keep going with the questions. I'm gonna fact check this and I'll give right. you the decision at the end. Google <laughs> told me, so I'm trusting Lord Google. Uh, Google question number four. So right now we're gonna have, you're, we'll take the third one out there. So you're still two for two. Uh, let's see if you can get a hat trick on this one. According to both SoccerWay.com and Wikipedia, both my sources, by the way, how tall are you? Are you A, 5'9", B, 5'7", C, both? Um, both. You are correct. <laughs> you are both 5'7 and 5'9", depending what convenience store you're leaving. <laughs> 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 wow. Right? All right. Let's see if I can stump you with this one. Question number five. And keep in mind, it was just candid today. Mm -hmm. Which is the best poutine restaurant? A, Smokes Poutine. B, New York Fries. Or C, McDonald's. Hey. No question. A, <laughs> right wow, away. That was, that was a bang. That was a top corner. That was no question. That was uh, yeah, he's, situation. He, he's four for four. Right, and I, I, I want to see him. Wow! Wow! Hey, this smokes. podcast, yeah, this that. podcast is brought to you by Smokes Poutinery. Please enjoy them because I don't remember their slogan. Uh, it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. I don't make it your way. Get yours. Oh, get yours. All right. So let's see if my boy can go five for five. Me. Just so, Justin, I want you to repeat the question again, just so I can <clears throat> give the decision. Right. In what year did Gabe's former club, Energy Cottbus? get promoted 2017 2016 or 2015 according to wikipedia it was 2016 when i checked unless gabe already hacked the system and was like i'll prove this guy wrong and what were the other two options again 2017 2016 2015 i said it was 2017 2018 so 2017 2018 season so you're saying a i think so you're saying you're saying e right or left? Okay. Yeah, technically E. Technically E, 2017, yeah, but right. Because the decision is in, and the answer would be E. So, <laughs> they, they got promoted in 2018? Yes, yeah. I believe they got relegated in 2016. Man, when I looked this up, it said promoted season of 2016, 2017, like, or sorry, 2015, 2016 going into it. Like, they had won in the 2016 year calendar, was when they got promoted. So, so th that means they may have been promoted in 20. That's what I'm saying, because you had to win in 2016 
to get promoted to the next 2016-2017 calendar season. My understanding is they were relegated in 2016, and then well, they came back up in 2018. Yeah, we're Canadian. We'll just give you the point. <laughs> and that is a clean sweep, if I'm not mistaken. Gabe, yeah, exactly. A sharp shooter right here. It's like the man on the pitch, Gabe Boache, getting it done. Now, Gabe, okay. where, where can our people find you on social media? Um, well, I don't even know. Wait one second. My Instagram is... Who am I again? Gabe. Gabe, uh, G A B E, Boachi, B O A K Y E. Awesome. And you have Twitter or anything? Yeah, Twitter app also. That's uh, Gabriel underscore underscore Boachi, B O A K Y E. Two underscores. Class. The, the like man likes his scores. He <laughs> likes his scores. Oh, now I'm almost sad you put two scores. It should have been three for a Hattie. Oh, you got to update your handle now. You got to get that third yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. We appreciate your time um, today, and we wish you all the best in the in the off season and in the next season in Germany. We look forward to seeing you playing internationally once again as well, whether that be for Canada or for Ghana. We're we'll watching you, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It for was a pleasure, me. sir. Thank you. And for our audience, this is NWB and Justin Williams signing off. But for our talks or some more, love the six, let's connect. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button and leave us a comment with your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications to see more engaging and interactive content. Toronto Talk Sports and more for the love of the six, let's connect.